In this video, I'm going to show you how to send sliced G code print files directly to your Sonic Pad from Cura. And I'll also show you how to see a preview image of what your print is going to look like directly on the Sonic Pad itself. This video is part of my Intermediate Sonic Pad series. Check out the links in the description if you want to see any of the other videos. First, open Cura and find the Marketplace button in the top right corner. Start typing Moonraker in the search box and you should find the Moonraker connection plugin. Install it and then restart Cura. Once you're back in, click on the Printer Selection dropdown and then Manage Printers. Here you'll find a new box that says Connect Moonraker. Click it and a new window will open. In the Connection tab, we need to type our Sonic Pad's IP address. If you haven't seen my Sonic Pad Basics video where I show you how to find your IP address on your Sonic Pad and then connect to it remotely, then click here to go and watch it or watch it after the end of this video. The short version is that it's in your network settings. Type in your IP address with all the usual HTTP stuff at the front like I have here. Then on the Upload tab, change the format to UFP with thumbnail. Close this window and the Preferences one, and now when you slice a file, you'll have the option to upload to your printer directly. Select this option and then click it again and you will be asked for a file name. Call it what you like and then you can either hit Upload or you can select to start the print job if your printer is ready to go. The slice file will now be sent directly to your Sonic Pad with an image that you can see either on the Sonic Pad or in the web UI. Now we have a quick way to send our print files directly to our Sonic Pad and we have a way of previewing what they're going to look like. We need to start tuning our print quality so that we can get the best out of our clipper controlled 3D printer. Click here to go to the next video in the series where I'll show you how to tune input shaping by measuring resonances with that sensor that came with your Sonic Pad that you haven't used yet. I'll see you there.